Hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Spare it in May, 11-11. It's your girl Stardust, 11-11 here to do your forecast, love, and finance reading for the sign of Sagittarius for October 2019. This reading will be good from October, um, from now until November 15th. Since I didn't get a chance to do it before the month um, started here, I'm just trying to get caught up for you guys. Get some readings out here. I'm in the middle of a move <laughs> to another town, to another county. And um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So I've been thinking about you guys, working on some new content and material. And also, um, I'm going to be making my deck of angel guidance oracle cards available for sale um, on the promised date of november 11th which is really close to the one year anniversary of my channel here so thank you guys i'm going to be unboxing and using those cards today i'm so proud of my little project and i have many other projects coming up here to follow up with those so sagittarius is a fire sign so this reading can also resonate for the aries or leo as well as fire is your element okay Tarot is timeless. So I always like to tell you guys that these can be events that have already happened for you, that are currently taking place, or that will unfold for you Sagittarians so here in the near future, for some of you anyways. <laughs> so um, take what resonates, that it does not just leave it, okay? Thanks to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. For everyone out there who is new, I am Stardust1111. I am in Awakened Twin Flame, Light Worker. I'm just a multi um, dimensional being. I just do so much on uh, spirituality. So, um, my email is down below if you would like to get in contact with me for a personal private reading. Also, check my website out www.spiritandme1111.com. So, without further ado, guys, I know you're like, stop shuffling and get into it, Stardust. So here we go. What do we have, Spirit, for the Sagittarians? Oh, we have Ten of Swords, guys. So you guys start off here with a bitter, harsh ending. Like someone has stabbed you in the back. Um, backbiters, betrayal, you know, deceit of the worst kind. Something's definitely over. Um, Ten of Swords is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So... And we have major arcanas here. We have two major arcanas, guys. Major changes. Major three or three majors. <laughs> so, okay. Let's get going for you guys. With a bitter end here. Some of you are experiencing um, an ending that has recently taken place. That's in the process of taking place. Or that's coming up on you guys really, really soon here. Um, it goes right into your Queen of Cups energy. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So with the Queen of Cups here, there's someone that you loved a lot, that you were really, really in love with, smitten with, um, has hurt you, has ended something, maybe a relationship is over, it's completely over. So give the time that you need to heal Queen of Cups. Um, this is someone who's very intuitive, your intuition um, is on point. Um, you're very intuitive. Some of you probably are psychic out there, especially the Pisces. I'm Pisces twice in my natal chart. So you're very intuitive and um, you can begin to build on these skills if you would like to um, email me and I'll give you information if you'd like and I'll share some of what I know with you guys um, to help you grow and glow as I'm doing over here. The Queen of Cups here is always putting herself out there emotionally. Um, someone who works in the health sector, so you could be either in mental health or physical health um, in your profession and your job. Queen of Cups is someone who gives more to people than they'll ever give back to her. And it leaves you feeling, you know, empty at the end of the day. Like you start your day off with a full cup and you're going around and giving to this person and that person. And you're so loving and emotional. You become obsessed with your own emotions sometimes, leaving you to feel in a place that, you know, you feel that people have walked all over you, that nobody's listening, nobody's paying attention to your needs at the end of the day. Queen of Cups energy here. So, um... Very intuitive, queen, very much in love and was smitten with someone or something that's ended in your life. Um, the emperor here, Aries. Um, Aries is the card of the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. This is someone who 
Um, it's going to stand up for you. Um, it's coming your way. The emperor could be an older person in your life that has advice. It's going to help you through this hardship and this time you're going through right now, Sagittarius. Or it could just be um, like someone you're headed towards, like your queen of cups comes and the emperor comes right after. So that could be you and your person. You could be dealing with a person um, in power, someone that's an entrepreneur, someone that is a natural born leader, that's a leader that's at the top of their game or their field right now. The emperor embodies the energy of all of the queens in the tarot deck. So you have someone that's very stern, that's a go-getter, that's a breadwinner. And like I said, at the top of his or her game, energies can be interchanged. So your kings can be queens and vice versa. So um, then we have judgment here. You're coming right up on judgment here after your emperor card. So um, being true to yourself, making um, fair and just decisions, knowing that karma is going to be coming back. Karma can be karma repaid in kind, or it can just be the karma from this energy here, that Ten of Swords type energy that someone has um, inflicted upon you in your life, what you're hurting from. Let go and let the universe. It's not yours to try to take on and fight. Um, everyone that comes in your life is not meant to be loyal to you. Some people come along to serve that purpose of betrayal or deceit because they are helping you grow and glow. That pain is going to make you such a better, stronger person moving forward, Sagittarius. And it probably doesn't make any sense right now. You're probably like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> but trust me, I've been through it myself. I wear my experience on my sleeve, literally. I'm far from perfect, honey. I'm not telling you anything that I don't need to hear for myself. I educate myself also through these cards and the messages sometimes just hit for me. So then you go right from judgment um, to the Nine of Pentacles energy. Nine of Pentacles energy, that is the Virgo card. It's a Virgo decan and um, the second decan of Virgo. It is when <laughs> um, Venus shows up in Virgo at 12 degrees. She comes out to be the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, very abundant, opulent. Um, your person, your emperor could be coming into the picture after this ending. Seeing you as someone that's very loving, nurturing, caring, you make a great mother, excellent mother. If this is your person um, with this emperor energy, you guys will make a perfect couple because that emperor can be that king of cups if he needs to be. He can embody that energy and be the perfect nurturer, provider, protector, um, give you a stable, grounded offer. Be careful when dealing with the emperor energy, though, with these ten of swords here. This could be someone who is a narcissist. It could be someone who um, is very emotionally detached as well with the swords energy here, especially if you're dealing with the Aquarius, which tends to be the most detached of the zodiac of the air signs okay so back to your nine of pentacles here that's um virgo taurus capricorn energy earth energy and it's about you standing on your own being single and independent right now um self-employed some of you um are very headstrong and independent and is um uh, just working your ass off right now working hard for the money and securing the bag and you know you're putting your best foot forward and just know that with the emperor energy here you're either yourself leveling up get into that place of abundance that you seek or this is something that you're coming into that you're coming towards this could be what your person sees in you as that someone that has their eye on you that's looking like the emperor he is just watching over the land here this guy is looking and he's alone he's out there by himself he's single so he's looking for his queen of cups he's looking to come and get you and make you all of his to take you home knowing that you have the potential to be that nine of pentacles type of energy that's really really good energy here in your reading sagittarius so <laughs> um the hermit card this is virgo with the earth energy here i told you virgo um venus and virgo nine of pentacles venus and virgo at 12 degrees followed by the hermit some of you sagittarius are definitely dealing with a virgo the hermit is about going within. When you get the hermit with the judgment card, someone here um, is isolated right now. You're away from your person. The hermit is about isolation, seclusion, um, meditation, going within. Spirit is telling you right now the judgment is upon you. Um, like Gabrielle blowing his trumpet. This is a moment of truth for you. This is a game changer. This ending here, um, what happened to you, 
it changed you. You're gonna forever be different because of this experience. Things are never gonna go back to how they were for you um, on an emotional level and how you love and the people that you poured that cup of love into because it was a very bitter end and it was very harsh. Someone stabbed you in the back really bad here. It was an awesome betrayal. And because of that, something has ended in your life that's putting you into this Queen of Cups energy. The universe is just reminding you that um, you're the Queen of Cups. Like you are such a loving, caring person. You're the queen of cups. You um, want to love and you want to be loved and you have all kinds of love to give. More than that, you're very hard work and dedicated. You put your time and energy into what you want and you make that manifest into the physical. You're really, really good at that. You're really good at getting what you want out of life. Um, Sagittarians, what's your hermit here with the Virgo card? Um, it could be a dark, lonely place. You could be experiencing a dark night of the soul because of that ending, because of that Ten of Swords type of ending and energy that's come in your life. So, um, yeah, let me get you guys some energy oracle cards. There will be an extended version to this reading over on Vimeo. I'm going to get you guys an energy oracle card here, and then I'm going to um, unbox my um, angel guidance oracle cards and see what message the angels has for you with guidance um, the angels has for you and would like to send you on your way with <laughs> all right so let's get the energy oracle card for the sign of sagittarius if you will spirit thank you so i hope everyone's enjoying their saturday been out shopping with my kids already Been packing over here i'm gonna be packing all day and it's great we're moving to such a beautiful house it's so beautiful it's so awesome it's in the perfect town it's in a perfect location. Everything I wanted. It's everything we needed and deserved. You know, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Can't tell you guys how happy I am. So awesome. My new sets are going to be so dope. <laughs> so awesome. So, Spirit, let's get some cards for the lovely, awesome signs of Sagittarius is out there. Um, Sag, you could have walked away from something as well because uh, you got that fire energy and uh, you could have stopped, you could have cut something or someone off. You could have had a moment of reckoning, of awakening, like an epiphany with that judgment card here and um, be seeing shit for what it really is. You could have taken the time you've needed and went inside and meditated, took your time alone. Now you're coming out as that queen of pentacles with that queen of cups. Like, you know what? This too shall pass. You may have hurt me, but what you're not hurting is my coins. What you're not hurting is this bag I'm securing. What you're not gonna do is ever make me stop loving like I'm so used to and doing. And that's very good. You're being stronger. You're standing in your power. For those of you who that part of this is resonates with, so, get right into your energy oracle, Sagis. Contract. <laughs> cool. You guys have contract. I'm going to get the book for that. It's number six. So, I can tell you it's about something serious coming your way. Hey, now, step with the nine of pentacles. Exactly. That's a level up for you, baby, with the emperor, okay? Partnership and legal commitment. This card shows a contract in the background for those of you that can see it. You may have to zone in if you can. Sorry, guys, if you can. Let me try to get a little close for you. Okay. All right. So this card shows a contract in the background, ready to be signed, indicating the connection of some sort. This union may be a business deal with the emperor, natural born leader, a businessman, an entrepreneur, someone in a position to help you, to help you grow and glow. So, hmm. The sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Hey, now. <laughs> so, whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding, at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if a legal action is underway, it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities. So remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. With the Nine of Pentacles, hey, now you coming into your own, baby. You got something good on the way to you and you deserve it. You deserve it. So my <laughs> Angel Guidance cards by Stardust 1111. My project, my baby, one of many, my first. They're so beautiful. They're so awesome, guys. I love them. I love them. I love them. 
don't know if you guys can see that too well and I do not have a steady hand. That car's gonna be all over the place. <laughs> I got issues. So yeah, let me um see what guidance the angels have here for you. Um, I wrote and created this deck based off of my journey from the last um, 18 months. Um, my journey, my spiritual journey, my path, um, the way the angels communicate with me. And I know it would help you all. Um, a lot of these cards should resonate for your everyday um, situations. When you begin to have the judgment show up with the hermit, some of you are definitely in a spiritual um, path and um, have messages coming from the divine. You're being helped by your angels. Like, you wonder how you got through the situations, how you made it out of things that you know you just shouldn't have walked out of, unscathed and alive for that matter, especially you, um, Sagittarians, with all that fire um, going on. It's like, at the end of the day, your angels have your back. The universe has your back. So just know that. So, spirit and angels, if you will, give me an angel guidance card. I'm going to take two cards, guys, for you guys. So angel guidance cards here for my lovely, lovely Sagittarians. They would sure appreciate it. What message do the angels have for Sagittarius moving forward with their reading? All right, guys. Pick a couple here. We have 220. Give any fears and worries to your angels for transmutation. With judgment. With that ten of swords that ending give it to the universe okay i'm gonna shuffle again and get you guys another one i like to see if any would pop out on its own um, but you know i'm shuffling to get you guys another card here and then i'm gonna go over to vimeo and do your extended reading wow there we go wow you guys see that i like it i love when they do that <laughs> 7716. Oh, this number, I cannot tell you guys how significant this number is to me, to my life, and to my journey. I have a follow up project that's going to touch on every single card here, and it's beautiful. It's awesome. I'll keep you guys posted about that. I'm so proud of it. 7716. Missing your mark, not acting on abundant opportunities. So, um, my ideology behind this card was 777 right but sometimes you can be out of sync with those sevens lining perfectly so you have 7716 it's still 777 if you have a six and a one you still have a seven here at the end of that card so your potential is there but what's going on in your life right now is you're missing your mark you're not acting on those abundant opportunities so you're missing your opportunity for luck um there's really no such thing as luck it's about being prepared for the opportunity when it presents itself because it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than have an opportunity and not be prepared did i say that right i think so so yeah it's beautiful i love these cards guys i'm going to make them for sale on november 11th 11th 11 my twin flame number dna activation number so of course it has to be attached to me and my story personally thank you all so much for joining me over here it's fair to me 11 11 i'll see you lovelies over on my vimeo namaste